Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Godo chapter with my Werewolf today, which got some new juicy buffs. First one is the biggest change with Defini Raw. This morph now grants major protection, 10% damage reduction for slotting, rather than major profits in savagery, which is not a big problem, we gain equip buff already with all console. It's always a big issue to balance out sustain, survivability and damage on werewolves. The major protection definitely helps a lot here to balance out those problems more properly. The other morph for Rishis War applies now a unique debuff called Terrified. This will increase your damage with both horror morphs against marked opponents by 10%. But watch out, you will lose of course the major breach and the minor maim of Defini Raw, so this morph is only useful in group play. Next change is about the ultimate itself. Both werewolf transformations, light and heavy attack will de bleed damage now, rather than physical. These attacks have a specific chance to proc the bleed status effect hemorrhaging. With light attacks, your proc chance will be at 3%. Medium attacks at 5% and fully charged heavy attack even at 10%. Pretty nice. Another change is on both whole spammables. This ability and its morph no longer did 10% damage to enemies that are facing them, instead they did 10% damage to enemies that are terrified. The Howl of Agony morph will not give you any more 25% more flat damage to opponents that are facing you, instead you gain 10% more damage to off-balance targets. Small damage nerf here, but more comfortable to play. On top, they reduce the skill cost on this morph, which helps for sustain. The other morph, Howl of Despair, will only increase the duration of your feeding friend synergy, so more useful for group players. Overall, a really nice buff for werewolves, especially for solo werewolf players. Quick talk about the gear. A werewolf struggles always with sustain, so Wretched Vitality is mandatory, otherwise you will have big sustain issues. Even with Wretched Vitality, heavy attacks are a must-have. I recommend to abuse the off-balance mechanic here to gain the double amount of stamina back. As soon as someone is off-balanced with raw, try to build up a fully charged heavy attack and you're Gucci to go. Second biggest problem on the werewolf build is the slack on healing over time. If Xenus Rage's burst heal alone is definitely not enough for a solo werewolf player, the Overland set his sap is perfectly made for wolves. It procs a pretty strong healing over time if you are CC'd, snared or immobilized. The uptime is huge since you obviously have no access to a snare removal, like Rest Against Time. It heats sometimes even close to Xenus Rage. Really strong set here. As Mythic Oaken Soul is best in slot, I've tested Aelid's King, the new Mythic Saint and Seducer, but nothing came even close to Oaken Soul. It simply provides essential buffs we need for a one bar setup. As filler one piece of shootout for extra armor, I even combined it with the Lady Mundus, otherwise the resistance will be way too low. In terms of sets, I would not really change anything. There are some few other options, for example, instead of Wretched Vitality, use Rocks the Warped, with at least two sustained jewelry glyphs and the Serpent Mundus, with still his sap as 5 set piece, 2 trainee and 2 potentates, used that one few patches ago, worked pretty good too. For more tankiness, you could try out Pariah for an extreme amount of armor with his sap and one piece of Magma Incarnate or Burn Thirst for extra magic and stamina recovery. Full recovery jewel gifts probably needed with the Serpent should also technically work. Armor types too heavy, make sure to have the chest and reinforced here. Then 3 medium and 2 light with 4 impen pieces, 2 well fitted and 1 reinforced like I said. You can also put more into sturdy if you want, I still prefer to well fitted even with his sap. Full prismatic gifts obviously best in slot. Fully fused on the jewelry for the extra healing with still one stamina recovery glyph needed even with wretch fatality to weapon spell damage glyphs. And as weapon, really important, a bow. Why? The only reason is Hasty Retreat, the bow passive which gives you major expedition after you roll dodge for 4 seconds. If I remember correctly, none of the other weapon passives will work, only this one here. So make sure to use a bow, should be best in slot for the extra movement speed. In sharpen face a pen with the flame damage enchant. Skills, first of all make sure to use the Werewolf Berserk ultimate, the other morph, Pack Leader is not worth in my opinion. Yes, it will give you more tankiness, but it costs of a ton of damage, the bleed out of Berserker is insane, it's basically our main DPS. As gap closer, Brutal Pounce deals bleed damage, directly applies the hemorrhaging status effect and gives on top extra weapon damage, plus a strong bleed dot with Boot to Carnage after reactivating this ability within 5 seconds. Next up is Claws of Anguish. Definitely this morph with Mage Defy, 12% healing reduction and even reduces now the shield strength and directly applies the disease status effect for extra damage plus minor Defy on top for another 6% healing reduction. The other morph will give you an extreme garbage healing over time, not worth it all. 
that hits basically nothing. You will just lose major defi. Howl of Agony is spareable for the extra 10% more damage during off balance. A group play you could use the other morph to provide a synergy called Feeding Frenzy for extra minor force, but honestly, probably not even worth in group play. Next skill is the Fiending Roar. Save this more for major protection just slotted, major breach, 6k penetration and minor maim 5% to reduce the opponent's damage. The Ferocious Roar morph is probably only worth in an organized group for the extra damage with the unique debuff Terrified or without Oaken so since it gives major savagery the crit buff but still in my opinion probably not even worth in group play. Last but not least his Hinnus Rage is burst here and for major berserk 10% more damage even if you take 5% more damage definitely this morph the other one will just increase your healing but in cost of obviously a ton of damage. As class any class works to be honest, I always prefer Sorcerer, with Amplitude the class passive we gain a passive Execute and with Energize the other passive 5% more physical damage. Skills out of Werewolf, I just put some survivability skills like Hurricane, Hardened Ward, Vigor, Streak and Dark Deal, doesn't really matter here, you can put any skills, just make sure to build up your ultimate as fast as possible. As we stun more, for the extra weapon damage, spell damage, flame resistance, magicka and stamina, any stamina race works here. Mundus, like I said before, lady for the extra 2.7k armor, which is about 4% damage mitigation, so almost another minor protection on top. Smoked bear hunch definitely has buff food for the magicka and stamina recovery. If it's too expensive for you, there's an alternative buff food called Jewels of Misrule gives basically the same stats, just less of them, and without the health recovery. Add 3 points, 39 points into health and the rest in stamina. Potion, the normal tricep potion. And CPs, pretty basic with Exploiter, Daddy Aim as damage CPs. Keep in mind, Defeating Raw sets the enemy off balance. And then damage mitigation, Ironclad and do a speed buff. If you need more damage, use Raw for Strikes here instead of Ironclad. Red CPs, sustained by suffering, pains refuge. Survival Instincts, if you have issues with hyping, I swap it sometimes out for Slippery, depends on the situation, but mainly I have it with uh, Survival Instincts. And last red CP is Fortified for the extra armor, if you need more movement speed, use Celerity instead. Combination pre buff yourself with Xenos Rage, start with Brutal Pounce, reactivate it again for Brutal Carnage, apply Claw, into Raw, into House Bam. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Enjoy the Werewolf build, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm taking